Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And it's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check. Hello everyone, I am Bruce Gia. Ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is K-Check and another exciting season of teaching and learning. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Alamin natin kung kaya nila ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season. Kaya samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition when we reveal a new K-Check champion. Ang apat nating daily winners ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Sue is a third-year student from Eulogio Amang Rodriguez Institute of Science and Technology taking up Bachelor of Special Needs Education. Her hobbies are singing, dancing, cooking, and watching movies. Up next, we have Ray Mart. Ray Mart is a UP Diliman student. He studies computer science. Back home, they have six cats. On his spare time, he jogs around the campus. Sunod naman, Joseph. Joseph is a civil engineering student of UP Diliman. His MBTI is INTJ. He spends his time watching movies and surfing the internet. Finally, we have RK. RK is a student of Iris. She studies special needs education generalist. Her hobbies include reading stories on Wattpad as well as watching movies and K-drama. These four contestants will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. We have Marianne Roque, who is a professor of mathematics in UP Diliman. Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And last but not least, multimedia artist and professor emeritus who teaches film at the UP College of Mass Communication Film Institute and communication at the UP Open University. We have Professor Grace Javier Alfonso. At ngayon, contestants, good luck as we go into our first round. Get ready to buzz in, hopefully with correct answers, which are worth 10 points each. Let's begin! This is round one. Question number one. What popular spicy Korean dish is made of pickled or fermented cabbage? Raymark. Kimchi. Kimchi is the correct answer, K-Check. Question number two. Did you know that dog racing is popular in some parts of the world? What breed of dogs have been raised in the Derby in England since 1927? The correct answer is the Greyhound. Question number three. How many players should there be on the field for one team in a football game? Joseph. Six. The answer is incorrect. RK. Five. The answer is incorrect. Sue. Eight. The answer is also incorrect. Yes, Raymond. Ten. The answer is still incorrect. Correct answer is eleven. Question number four. What film about a blacksmith starred Fernando Po Jr. and Coco Martin in the title character in different versions? Remark. Panday. Panday or Ang Panday is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number five. What small country in Southeast Asia on the north coast of Borneo has been influenced and protected by Britain since 1888? Two. Maldives. Maldives is not correct. Joseph? Thailand. Thailand is not correct. The correct answer is Brunei or Brunei Jerusalem. Question number six in geology. The Gutenberg discontinuity separates the outer core from which thick layer of the earth. Joseph. Mantle. Mantle is the correct answer. K check. Question number seven. Every year in December, Jose Feliciano's single Feliz Navidad climbs up the chart. What language, aside from English, is Feliz Navidad written in? 
Joseph. Spanish. Spanish. The title itself is in Spanish. Feliz Navidad. Question number eight. What Olympic sport has the following events? Rings, floor exercises, Raymark. Gymnastics. Gymnastics is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number nine. Anastasia and Drizella are the stepsisters of which Disney princess? Sue. Cinderella. Cinderella is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number 10. How many teeth are there in a usual complete set of teeth? Sue. 26. The answer is incorrect. Joseph. 32. The number of teeth in a usual complete set of teeth in an adult human is 32. The answer is correct. K check. In mental mathematics, what is 16 divided by one half? Joseph? Eight. Joseph's answer is incorrect. Remark. 32. 32 is the correct answer. K check. Last question. In sports, by definition, how many individual sports are contested in the Olympic discipline, modern pentathlon? Raymark. Five. Five is the correct answer. K check. And that's it for our first round. Thank you, Attorney Gabi. Recap tayo ng mga scores nila. Raymark is leading with 50 points, followed by Joseph with 30 points, Sue with 10 points, and RK kaya pang umabol sa mga susunod na rounds. At sabi nga nila, habang may round, may pag-asa. So, ready na ba kayo for round two? Susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! Dito sa karunungan check. Lika po na tayo, Atty. ng kanilang mga scores. Raymark is leading with 50 points, followed by Joseph with 30 points. Si Sue may 10 points, at si RK kaya pang humabol sa ating mga susunod na rounds. Now on to round 2. Contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure to strategize because correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's, Let's begin. begin. Question number one. The PCG is a uniformed service task primarily with enforcing laws within Philippine waters and safeguarding life and property at sea. What does PCG stand for? Sue. Philippine Coast Guard. Philippine Coast Guard is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. What is the title of the debut novel of Chinua Achebe? that deals with the European invasion of Nigeria during the late 19th century. The correct answer is, things fall apart. Question number three. What is the name of the only brother of Jose Rizal? The correct answer is Pasano. Question number four. Did you know that Taylor Swift's first number one single in the Billboard charts was also cited by Guinness World Records as the fastest selling single in digital history in 2012? What is the title of this Taylor Swift number one song? Joseph. Love Story. Love Story is Malik. Sue. Our song? Our song is Malin. The correct answer is, we are never ever getting back together. Confirm natin mamaya. Okay. Question number five. What character was played by Gene Wilder, Johnny Depp, and now Timothy Chalamet, in the movie adaptation, 
Raymart, Willy Wonka. Let me continue. In the movie adaptations of Roald Dahl's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Willy Wonka is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. What country has won the gold medal in men's basketball the most times at the Olympic Games? Two. Um, United States of America. United States of America or USA is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. What is the name? Of the forgetful blue tang fish in the film Finding Nemo, Raymart. Dory. Dory is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. In geometry, what do you call a line segment that connects non consecutive vertices of a polygon? The correct answer is diagonal. Question number nine. What country was invaded by Iraq in August 1992 to start the Gulf War? Raymart. Kuwait. Kuwait is correct. Paycheck. Question number ten. Which neighbor of Egypt is the country that has the most pyramids in the world? So, Egypt. Egypt is Malay. Joseph. Giza. Giza is Malay. Raymond. Algeria. Algeria is Malay. The correct answer is Sudan. Question number 11. In science, what term refers to the rate of increase of speed or the rate of change? Raymart. Acceleration. Let me proceed. Change of veloci velocity of a moving body. The correct answer is acceleration. K-check. Last question for this round. Number 12. What is the title of the Broadway musical where Leia Salonga sang... Sige. Miss Saigon. Hmm. Mali. Huwag <laughs> Leia Salonga kasi. Where Leia Salonga sang the tune tomorrow. RK. Mulan. Mulan is Mali. The correct answer is Annie. Nabutan niyo na may Annie. Yung tomorrow, alam niyo yung song na tomorrow. Okay. That ends our second round. Tingnan naman natin kung may pagbabago na sa ranking ng ating mga contestants. Raymart currently leads with 120 points. Followed by Sue with 20, Joseph with 10, and RK with minus 10 points. 100 points lang naman ang kailangan na bulin, pero hindi pa natin alam. Oh, marami pa pwede mangyari dahil hindi pa tapos ang laban. Man. Ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! Welcome back everyone to K-Check. Recap muna tayo ng mga points sila, Atty. Una-una, si Raymart is leading with 120 points, followed by Sue with 20 points, Joseph with 10 points, and RK with negative 10 points. And now, it's the experts' turn to play Quizmasters in our Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Remember, sa round na to, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers Let's, Let's begin. begin. First question will come from Prof. Marian. Pagalingan ito ha, wrong answers are wrong. Okay, <laughs> which of the following diseases is caused mainly by a bacterial infection? A. Chicken pox B. Flu C. Amebiasis D. Hepatitis or E. Tuberculosis Raymart. Tuberculosis. Chicken pox is caused by a virus, varicella zoster. Flu also, influenza. Amebiasis is caused by amoeba, a parasite. Hepatitis is caused by mainly 
a virus. Tuberculosis is caused by the mycobacterium tuberculosis. So, answer is letter E. Tuberculosis. Okay, check. Prof. Neil, next question, please. Yeah, world history. Para sa Shiite Islam o Shia Islam, sino ang kanilang kinikilalang unang kalip o kalipa na nagsilbing tagapagpatuloy ng pamumunong islamiko matapos ang kamatayan ni Muhammad? A. Abu Bakar B. Ali C. Hussein D. Muawiyah E. Umar B. Ali Ilan sa mga bansa na may malaking populasyon ng Shia Islam ay ang Iran, Iraq, Azerbaijan at Bahrain. Ang tamang sagot ay B. Ali K. Chek. Prof. Gigi, next question. What is the famous Philippine folk dance that echoes the movements of a bird where dancers navigate? Joseph, tinikling. The Philippine folk dance a dance to the tune of rondalia music which originated from Spanish colonial period and the movements are likened to the bird tickling. So the answer is tickling. Okay, check. Thank you so much. Very good. Kala ko tinikling kawayan. Okay. Which of the following numbers is divisible by nine? A, 801, B, 780, C, 635, D, 500... Joseph. A, 801. Ang pag-check ng divisibility by 9 is checking if the sum of the digits is divisible by 9. So, 801 is indeed divisible by 9. Okay, check. Prof. Neil, next question. Bago, La Carlota, at San Carlos ay ilan sa mga lungsod ng anong probinsya sa Visayas? A. Cebu B. Iloilo Raymond Cebu Mali C. Leyte D. Negros Occidental E. Negros Oriental R.K. Negros Occidental Ang probinsyang ito ay may labing tatlong lungsod. Pinakamalaki sa mga lungsod ay ang kabisera nito, ang Bacolod. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Negros Occidental, K-Check. Prof. G.G., next question. Who was the Italian Renaissance artist who executed marble sculpture called David? Sue. Donatello. Uh, mali. <laughs> Meron ka na. Joseph. Michelangelo. The statue of David was commissioned for one of the buttresses of the Cathedral of Florence and was carved from a whole block of marble by Michelangelo. Okay, check. Giging close fight na rin. Oo, humahabol na si Joseph kay Raymar. Next question, Prof. Marian. Feel na feel natin na finals na talaga. Parang basketball. Parang, ba Ay, uh, parang basketball. <laughs> okay, ito. Carry ito. What is the layer of air closest to us in the Earth's atmosphere? Raymar. Troposphere. Blocking choices, ha? Okay. So, according to... So, dapat A, exosphere, B, ionosphere, mesosphere, stratosphere, troposphere. According to distance from the Earth a uh, surface, pinakamalayo exosphere, pinakamalapit troposphere. Okay, check. Prof. Neil, next question. Sana masagot rin ang tanong ko na wala pang choices. <laughs> so, world history. Sino ang Santo Papa ang naglunsad ng unang krusada na naglayong muling makuha ang Jerusalem mula sa mga Muslim noong 1095. A. Gregory VII B. Leo III C. Benedict IV D. 
Urban the second, E Innocent the third. So, I'm letter C po, Benedict the fourth. Male. Joseph A Gregory the seventh. Male. Popular na ekspresyon na pagmamahal sa simbahang katoliko at sa mga santo papa ang paglahok sa mga krusata. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, Urban II. Top BG, next question. La Giaconda is better known as what? A. The Mona Lisa B. Girl with a pearl earring C. Lady with a water pitcher D. Joseph uh, A. Mona Lisa Lisa del Giacondo is a portrait of a certain Lisa, an Italian noblewoman from the town of Giaconda. And her portrait is a very much celebrated Mona Lisa. Okay, check. Okay, off to the last set of questions for this round. Naku! Parang Miss Universe lang to. <laughs> Di ba? Hawak kamay. Okay. Let's go, Prof. Marian. Ito pa, bilisan to. If five terms of a sequence are one, one, Two, three, five, eight. What is the next term? Raymark. Thirteen. Ang saya ko. Perfect score ako. Four over four. <laughs> this is the Fibonacci sequence, the first five terms. So you get the next term by adding the two previous terms. So five and eight, ang last two terms. The next term is C, thirteen. Okay, check. Oh, wow! Last question from Sir Neil. Overwhelm ako, idol si Ray Mart, no? Wala pang choices, alam yung tamang sagot. Sana sa inyo rin, sir, no? Sana, sana. Ito mas madali. Three. <laughs> Sinong pangulo ng bansa na nagbago ng petsa ng pagdiriwang ng araw ng kasarinlan o kalayaan mula July 4 to June 12? A. Emilio Aguinaldo. <laughs> Tinitignan kay mga mukha nila. B. Diosdado Makapagal. C. Ferdinand Marcos Sr. D. Elpidio Quirino. E. Manuel Rojas. Ooh, letter B po, Diosdado Makapagal. Ang pagbabago ng petsa ay pagkilala sa kabayanihan ng mga revolusyonaryong Pilipino. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, Diosdado Makapagal. Okay, check. Okay. What famous building did the architect Antoni Gaudi design in Barcelona? A. Nako, multiple choice. A. Palacio de Cristal. B. Raymark. Sagrada Familia. Antoni Gaudi was a Catalan architect and designer from Spain, known as the greatest exponent of Catalan modernism. Gaudi's works have a highly individualized, or what we call as sui generis, or one of kind. His most famous work is La Sagrada Familia in Barcelona. K-Check! And that's it for K-Check Ultimate Pagaling and Challenge. Congratulations to Raymark, our K-Check weekly winner with a final score of 225 points. We'll see Raymart again in the semifinals when he competes with our other weekly winners. Yes, and of course, we'd like to thank our other contestants, Sue, Joseph, and RK, and our panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Neil, and Professor Gigi. Maraming salamat po. Ako po si Jules Gia. And I'm Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again on Monday for another round of K-Check. <laughs>